Hello and welcome to another Java Power Tester tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to continue about uh, the access modifiers in Java. So in the last tutorial, we have already seen about the access modifier at uh, the class level. Now, as we have understood, Java provides the access modifier. So at the class level, you have public or default, uh, but for the variable or the method level, you have four access modifier or the access level. So you have public, you have default if there is no access modifier mentioned for that particular variable or method, then you have private and then you have protected. So we'll understand all these four. So what I have done is I have created uh, the class A and I have defined four variables. So one named as public variable, depending on what type of access modifier is associated with for that particular variable and similarly for the method. So public method or no access modifier, that means the default access modifier and the private and protected. And then we'll see how you how these access modifiers are basically or impact the access level of these variables and the methods within your classes or which are part of the same package or the classes which are part of the different package in your project so let me change this particular class to public again so as we have in the last tutorial we have seen that if you have the public access modifier at the class level what access level you will have and if you remove that what access will be available to other classes which are part of same package or other package now so if we have to access these variables and the methods which are part of the same class right so I can access all of these variables within the same class and this the methods so it doesn't matter what access level is in this particular class I will be able to access all of these in my same class okay so let me create a main method uh, let me create here at the top so if I want to access all the variables and the methods, I'll simply need to create an object of this class, right? And then I'll say CA new class A and simply I can say CA dot and you can see all the variables default, private, protected, public and similarly all the methods, right? So if I simply say private, I'll, I can see private variable, protected variable method. I'm able to access the private and protected method as well as default variable and method and the public, right? So I am able to access all the variables and methods in the same class by creating an object of the class and I can access that. Now, this is the same class. Now, if I go to se second class or separate class, which is part of the same package, right? So class AA is same package within same package, which is com.rcv.package1, where the class A resides. But in that particular case, let's see what all access is available. Or if I want to access the methods and variables that are defined in class A, from class double a what we need to do so i have created an object of class a in class aa and let's see what all access is available so if i say ca dot you can see i can access default variable i can access protected i can access public but i can't access private right so if i say pr i can only see protected and a variable and protected method right so private is only accessible within that particular class right so any private variable or the private method so any method with the access modifier as private is only accessible within that particular class now because this class a has this private variable and this method will be only accessible to particular class which is class a and not to any other class it doesn't matter even if this class a is part of the same package right now going back to the 
class which is part of the second package or the package which is not which doesn't belong to the um, package where the class a is now in that case say for example i want to access the methods and variables that are defined in class aa so if i let me remove this so i simply need to create an object so let me remove this import as well so i simply need to create an object of class a right so i'll simply say class a and use the new keyword and create an object of class a right and then i can so let me import this class so you just hover over and you can click import the class from other package so that's what you have to do if the class that you want to or if if the class is uh, you know that that you want to create an object of is part of another package you just have to import we have already seen that in uh, the previous tutorial as well and now i can access the methods and variables and if i if you see ca dot let's see what all methods and variables are ac accessible so here if you see public variable and method are accessible do we see any private or protected no we can't right or do we see the default ones default is not accessible as well right so what this means is that if your class or basically if your methods and variables are defined in a class and they are part of package one and you want to access those methods and variables from the class which is you know part of a separate package in this case package two then only public variable and public method can be accessed so there is a, a matrix that we want to uh, show you so here this is the matrix which is basically from journal dev so all the credits to journal dev um, and i'm just referring to this matrix and here if you see so public is the least restrictive right so if your you know variable or method is declared as public or it has the public modifier public access modifier then inside the class you can access it yes we can we have saw it within the same package we you can access within a uh, same package subclass so this will understand this is part of the inheritance and we'll understand how you can access you know other attributes or the variables and the methods with the inheritance so same package subclass other package class and other package subclass so with the public access modifier this is least rest restrictive and your your variables and methods and classes will be accessible from everywhere now uh, when it comes to private right so private we have seen that so we have seen public you can access it from everywhere in the private case we have seen that when the variable that we have defined here was private so this variable private variable was only accessible within class a and it wasn't even accessible within this class aa right so if, if we so, see that ca dot private it's not accessible here protected is accessible but private is not right so what private access modifier does it it if you mark any method or any variable as private then it is accessible only inside that particular class and nowhere else right when you don't specify any access so that this is also we have seen so if you don't specify any access level that means the default then in that case inside the class you can access inside same package you can access inside same package with inheritance you can access but you cannot access in the other package right so as we have seen that in class b right so here we have seen that i can access all of the modifiers so i can access default protected public right i can have default in the same class inside the same package as well so this is the same package class of the same package in the same class i can by default access and then in the same package 
which is basically you know this other class which is part of the same package i can still access it and then same package subclass which is the inheritance concept concept we'll cover in just a moment then comes the protected now protected we can access in the same class in the same package class we have seen with the inheritance in uh, the subclass same package subclass and then in the other package we cannot access right so in this case that's what we have seen here i can only access the public method and i can't access protected right have you seen that but with the inheritance if i implement the concept of inheritance in java we will cover inheritance in a lot more detail but uh, for you to show that this you know method or the protected method can be accessed in the child subclass or in the in the class that is part of other package then uh, we can use the inheritance concept and access that particular variable or the method so in order to implement uh, implement inheritance in java you simply have to use the keyword so you have to two keywords extends and uh, implements so implements for the interface so if we simply say extends so what extends keywords uh, keyword does is it, it extends the uh, this particular you know so it this class b becomes the child of the class that you are extending so what we can say if we want to access the properties of class a what we'll simply say we'll say extends class a and if we simply use this extends keyword and make this child extend the class or the parent class then we can now access the protected methods and variables that are defined let me save this so if i save it now if i simply say okay uh, we have to sorry we have to create the object of class b now as well in order to access the protected variable so we can simply say new class b and now i should be able to access the protected variable and method that is part of the class a so by extending class a or by inheriting the properties of class a i can now create an object of this particular class and you use the properties or the properties that are defined in class a so now if i'll simply print it you will see that protected method is accessible now so now if we go to this particular sheet here so now you can see the protected variables or the methods that are marked as protected can be accessed within the class within the same package classes that are part of the same package um, and then in the same package subclass as well say so for example here in this particular case class aa and i simply want to access the properties that are defined in class a and when we say properties for example these variables and methods then uh, say i want to create an object of class aa and then access those properties so i simply have to inherit class a with the extends keyword so i can simply say class a see by default when we create an object of class a we are able to access the default variable or the protected variable right but if i before okay let me show this uh, let me not use the extends keyword and create an object of class aa and then you'll be more clear on that so if i now want to access the properties of the class a with the object of class aa then if i say dot i can only access or you can see that i can not access any of the properties that are defined in the class a right so class a has uh, public in uh, public uh, default private protected but 
by creating an object of this class, class A, A, I can't access the properties of class A. So either I have to use class A object or I have to, if I want to access the properties of class A, then I have to extend or inherit that class, right? So we simply say extends class A. And now you will see that CAA dot default protected public all of these are accessible except private you can now access all the methods and variables that are defined in class a by creating an object of class aa right so this is the concept or the brief com concept of inheritance and i want to show you um, this thing just to explain about how you can access the protected variables or the methods. so protected variables or the methods inside the class you can access them within the same package class you can easily access them and in the same package subclass if if for example you are inheriting the parent class you can access those and other package class you can't and then other package subclass with the inheritance concept you can access the protected variables and methods so the only exception for the prote protected variable uh, and uh, the method is that other package class directly can't access them public is least rest restrictive where which everyone can or every other class can access those variables and methods and if there is no def no access or the default access that has been specified then in that case it will be accessible only inside the class class which is part of the same package or the package or the class with, with the inheritance concept then uh, the private is the least or the most restrictive which is only accessible inside the class even if you are doing the inheritance concept you, you can't still uh, access any of the private variables or methods in java so that's all about uh, the access modifiers in java so these two tutorials that i have posted on the access modifier are the really important uh, concepts so please go through them um, thoroughly and understand the concept of access modifier because this will be really useful in the selenium automation and in the advanced concepts when we are going through the framework design tutorials in the selenium automation series so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it thank you very much for watching